Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I have a video using the Echo Park Little Lumberjack collection. I picked this up at a local scrapbook store. Um, I would say probably in either October or November. Um, and this is the first time that I'm using it. I didn't buy the whole collection. Um, I bought a couple sheets of the 12 by 12 papers, the six by six paper pad, um, and one pack of the ephemera. Um, and then I'm going to pull in some things from my stash. Um, during this video, I will let you guys know that I had some friends over scrapbooking this day. And so we get a little chatty. Um, and I'm also not in my normal space with my normal lights. So the lighting may be a little off. Um, but I still hope that you guys enjoy this video. So I'm trying to get the papers at the right size right now. Um, I'm doing a three layer mat, which... Um, came from a sketch that I created for my second book of sketches, which I hope <laughs> will be released in February now. Um, I've been sick for a month and I am just now, like I was feeling better. I was feeling a little better for a week and then I went downhill again and started getting sick again. Um, and it's just been, uh, it's been an uphill battle with my health over the past, a little over a month. Um, so I'm trying my best to get back to a normal schedule, a normal routine. Um, and I am excited to share this layout with y'all today. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to get back to working on my class that goes along with the book of sketches um, that I created. Um, and hopefully it'll be ready by the end of February. I wanted it to be ready by the end of January, but because I was sick the whole month of December and almost now half of the month of January, um, I, it's just not, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so yeah, here is the photo that I'm documenting today. And it is a photo of myself, my husband and my daughter. Um, we went and took a little trip in the mountains. And this was one of the photos of all three of us together um, in front of one of the overlooks um, in the Blue Ridge Parkway. So if you guys have ever been in the Blue Ridge Parkway, we do it. We didn't go this year, um, but this photo I think was taken last year um, in the fall. And it's just something that we really enjoy doing. I love the mountains and... Yeah, so unfortunately, the first year that we did it, we went and all of the leaves were completely dead, gone. So we went too late. So then the next year, which was this one, we went and we went too early and everything was still perfectly green. And there was every, you know, there was a couple red leaves here and there and a couple orange and yellow, but it wasn't what I want to see. <laughs> so hopefully, maybe we can go this year in 2020 and it'll be our year and we will see the beautiful um, foliage, is that what it's called? <laughs> the leaves, the beautiful leaves um, in the North Carolina mountains. So I am using my six by six paper pad to mat these photos. If you have not seen my video of um, the things that the craft things that I would not miss if I had not purchased them um, or bought them. I will link it up above so you guys can check that video out. Leave me a comment on that video and let me know what is a, an item that you have purchased that you just don't use um, that often. Um, six by six paper pads are one of mine and I am really going to try my best to use them this year uh, because I have a lot of them. So I've got the photo matted and I've used several sheets of the paper from the 6x6 paper pad uh, and I am going to use one of these cut aparts. The one that I decided to use says the bravest thing you can be is yourself and I just thought that that was a really cute little quote and I like that it has the buffalo plaid around it. And I am now looking through the tags and frames. Unfortunately, my local scrapbook store only had the tags and frames. If I could have, I would have bought the regular ephemera. Um, the tags and frames are not something that I normally try to purchase. Um, I think I, I reach more for the ephemera, like the icons, rather than the words and the tags and the frames, because... 
Uh, I don't, there's so many words, like there were so many things that I liked in the little pack, but I didn't want to use them all on this layout. I felt like it would have been too wordy, too many words. <laughs> so right now I pulled out some Felicity Jane, like little chipboard circles and they're all black and white. So they are going to work perfectly with this collection as little added touches and different kinds of embellishments. Since I don't have any of the regular ephemera or stickers from this collection. So I decided to pull a couple of those in, in my three clusters. And you guys will see here in a minute that I'm also going to pull in some enamel dots. I'm looking through my enamel dots and I find these Disney enamel dots that I've had for quite some time. And I really, really love the red and the black ones. They have glitter in them and they just, I feel like they go perfectly with this collection. And it was really nice. Um, to use up something that I have not used yet that's been sitting in my stash. So this video consists of newer things and some older things, um, and I'm very excited to use up some of my stash. That is something that I am working on in my Patreon group. Um, if you guys would like to become a patron, I will have all of the details linked below. You can just click the link and go sign up to be a patron. They get all kinds of exclusive content, Plus, they will get access to my class early before anybody else, access to my book of sketches early before anybody else. They get first access to all of my retreats, and they get a lot of extra videos, sketches each month, mood boards that I create, um, stash bash video each month, a vlog, kind of following me around and just kind of a more look into my life kind of thing. And so... If you guys think that that sounds interesting, you can go over there and sign up. I would love to have you be part of the community. We also do um, seasonal swaps, um, which has been a lot of fun, as well as um, a traveling traveler's notebook, which is making its way around the country. Right now, it has been to, I think, three other countries, and now it's in the U.S., making its way around to the ladies in the U.S. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, I've had Patreon for about, I would say, 15 or 16 months I've been doing it, and it's been a lot of fun. The community has grown, and I just love all of those ladies over there. They're just so awesome, very kind, and just really super sweet. So... I got this little um, tree, this little buffalo plaid tree, um, what is it, I lost my train of thought, um, paperclip, as a gift from a friend, and I thought that it would just go so perfect on this layout, and so I knew that I had to use it. I'm going to use it right here to the left side of the photo. Now, my plan was not to do a cluster here, but because I wanted to use this, and this is really the only place that I thought that it would look right, I'm going to do another cluster here. So there are going to be three clusters on this layout, which I honestly hadn't really thought about. Um, so I am going to cut a little banner here, and I was going to do it in the red, but the... Um, the bottom photo mat was also red and I felt like it blended in. So I'm going to use this black paper um, and this is from the 6x6 paper pad and it is like stars. It's really cute, really, really pretty. So I'm just going to kind of tuck that. I kind of want to hide the paper clip part um, as much as possible. Not, I, not necessarily, I don't have to, but I just wanted to kind of cover that up just a little bit. Um, and I am really, really loving the way that looks. I just put some ATG adhesive behind the little tree. And then for the banner, I'm going to put some pop dots behind that because the paper clip is a little more dimensional. So I am going to bring in another one of those little Felicity Jane chipboard pieces. And the one that I'm going to use here says the story. And I'm going to put that on a pop dot as well, just to give it a little more dimension. There is already a lot of dimension right here in this little cluster, but I really, really like the way that it looks. I'm trying it out in several different places. Um, and I end up using it right here at the bottom. And I really like the way that that looks. And then I'm going to add a little cluster of three enamel dots to 
each of my little clusters. And then I decided, oh, I need another one right here to make my triangle. So I'm going to use a couple more and I'm going to layer those little circles on top of each other. And then I'm going to do a cluster of the enamel dots around that to make my third and final little cluster. <laughs> How many times can I say cluster in one video? <laughs> So uh, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add some black splatters and that just is my finishing touch. I love the way that that looks. I'm super happy with this layout. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the bell so you are notified every single time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to spread love and be kind. I hope that you all have an amazing day. Bye.